Bonhams are privileged to be able to present this particular cast of Henry Moore's major bronze sculpture, reclining figure on a pedestal, for the very first time at auction. Conceived in 1959 to 1960, and belonging to a major UK corporation who acquired the work directly from Henry Moore back in the 1960s. The piece was cast in an edition size of nine, the present cast being number six. What's particularly significant about this Henry Moore is that the original plaster is in the Art Gallery of Ontario in Toronto in Canada, and they don't have a bronze cast of reclining figure on a pedestal. And there are three other bronzers in public museums around the world, in the Museum of Modern Art in Caracas, in a museum in New York, and in the Didrikson Museum in Helsinki. It's going to be the first time that reclining figure on a pedestal has been available to acquire on the open market in over 10 years. Reclining figure on a pedestal impresses and intrigues the spectator on so many levels and the complexity of shapes and surface textures along with its organic green patina reminds us of the artist's deep affiliation with the natural landscape. Standing here you get a real sense of the landscape which the artist was trying to convey or instill in the subject which is a human figure yet at the same time reminds us of, of cliff faces and cave forms. Around the back of the neck, instead of more using a sort of highly polished surface like we see on the front of the face, it becomes very almost animal-like and in a way prehistoric with it being very rugged and rough. Some debate surrounds the mysterious protruding form from the figure's torso. Could this be a reference to Moore's other long-lived obsession, the mother and child theme? Certainly, from numerous angles, this idea seems perfectly reasonable. Why else might the figure be smiling at us with its perfectly incised curved mouth in such a content and proud fashion? Of course, the main focus of reclining figure on a pedestal is indeed the recumbent figure. However, we mustn't, of course, forget that the pedestal serves a very specific purpose of raising the recumbent figure to eye level of the spectator, which in a sense allows us to have a more intimate relationship with the piece. The reclining figure was a recurring motif throughout Moore's entire career, which spanned seven decades. Only the mother and child theme occurs with similar regularity. The present work's genesis can arguably be traced back to as far as the early 1920s, when the Moore family moved to North Norfolk in the hope of improving his father's poor health. It was here the young 24-year-old began collecting flintstones from the beaches, intrigued by their anthropomorphic forms which had been shaped by millions of years of erosion. Despite Moore drawing inspiration from these early collecting habits of his, more contemporaneous sculptures he made will have proved to be just as useful. In particular, his iconic and monumental UNESCO reclining figure, made from Roman travertine marble the previous year. With all of this in mind and the work's beautiful original condition and impeccable provenance, Bonhams are really excited to be presenting this Henry Moore, one of the titans of modern British art, at auction for the very first time on the 17th of November in London.